Hello guys, my name is Hugo. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I work with the Canon C200 footage RAW, uh, how I color grade it in DaVinci Resolve and uh, just my workflow. So let's get to it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and uh, we have footage here. It's different kind of footage from different shoots and uh, the first thing I do is uh, I go check my project settings and if it's set to 24 frames per second I have here footage different kinds like uh, 59, 60 FPS, 24 FPS. So what I do, I convert all my uh, footage to uh, unified 24 frames per second. So basically I select all and I click on clip attributes and then I choose 24 frames. And right now all my footage has been converted to 24. So then I go to uh, edit and I create a new timeline and I unclick uh, empty timeline. So I placed all my footage here. Let me just select audio. So in the editing, uh, I can just maybe uh, trim a little bit uh, the footage for my editing purposes. Uh, once I trimmed all the footage, I go to my color tab. And here, um, I like applying Rec 709 that designed for Aria Alexa. And uh, the reason for it, because I don't like the way um, original uh, Canon LUT works. Original Canon LUT makes some colors in particular like um, red, it makes it pink and uh, doesn't have enough uh, saturation and uh, etc. Anyway, I mean, in short words, the RE LUT works a lot better with this one than the original Canon. Uh, I'm gonna apply in this RE LUT and that's what it makes. It looks really good. But still, to my preference, I think it doesn't have enough contrast, it doesn't have enough saturation. And uh, in order to fix it, I go to... So, I, I, of course, I can fix it here. And uh, I can just go to raw settings and then go to clip. And here I can just uh, add exposure, highlights, uh, saturation, contrast. Or if I want to add all exact same settings to all my raw footage on the timeline, I can just go and settings and I go to camera raw, I choose Canon raw, I choose project and here I think the sweetest spot is uh, to make highlights negative 20 to make highlight roll off a little bit smoother uh, then I go to saturation and I set saturation somewhere 25 I would say and I go to contrast and I make contrast somewhere 35, sometimes even 40. From experience working with this footage, I think this is the sweetest spot to be. So, and I click save and I all apply to all my footage I have here. But here one more trick to make it look even more like Aria Alexa. So, um, DaVinci Resolve has a very cool plugin. It's called Color Space Transform. So when I apply this plugin, pops up a menu where I can choose uh, what camera did I use, uh, what camera was shot. So I, I shot on Canon, so it's Canon Cinegamma. Then I use input um, Canon Log 2, because when you shoot in RAW, by default it sets to Canon Log 2. Then I choose what camera uh, color signs out I want, so I want our Alexa and I want array log C. So right away, uh, this plugin makes, so if you unclick and declick, it brings up a little bit more dynamic range and uh, makes the image a little bit warmer. So basically it makes your image look a lot more like it was shot like on Aria Alexa. And from there, I'll just create a new node and from there I just apply uh, Rex 9 LUT designed for Ari and straight away the image looks so much more pleasant and the, the color rendition and the color I would say even accuracy so the red stays red it doesn't go to pink side 
and then if I do click, uh, so this is the the plugin I used to transform the color space. So if I unclick the click, you see the difference here. Pretty much, it makes the image looks a lot more pleasant. I would say. Moving on, I just can uh, grab the steel. So basically, by grabbing the steel, I save all these settings and make like a preset. All I did here, I can just go in this and uh, drag it and apply all the settings I had there to this clip. And we can do the same here. So as you can see, this makes a difference. So if I want to make something like more a film look, like it was shot on film, uh, if you have like a film project. So after I applied all this, I basically created a Rex 109 image. So on this image, I can just go and apply standard LUTs that are included with the DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so here you can see the film looks. And I like, in particular, I like this one, uh, Kodak 2383 and uh, Fujifilm 3513. So let's play with Kodak. So I apply this LUT. It's a little bit too strong, uh, but we can just reduce it. We we'll go here and we key output we change to half of it it looks already a lot more interesting it has a lot more contrast and some colors were um, switched to more like a film emulation it really looks good uh, the only maybe i could just uh, play a little bit with saturation if I want more or less, I probably would just add a little bit more saturation. And uh, if we check it full screen, the only thing is missing. I have this little bit of digital noise that doesn't really look pleasant. So in order to get rid of this noise, I can, uh, of course, I can just denoise it. But there is another way also. and. Uh, I can just uh, add film grain. So I add film grain. And basically this film grain is gonna hide all the noise I have and it's gonna add this film texture to give more richness to the image. So I choose a 35, I set opacity to like all the way up and let's see. Right now, the image looks already much more interesting. Let's see, we can just again copy the lot and apply it here. So this is just a quick way uh, how to color grade something if you don't have much time. If you just need a simple grade. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is uh, so when you go and uh, when you work with a high dynamic range for instance when i shoot real estate i work with the extremely high dynamic range because i have to be able to see uh, details inside and outside at the same time so i have to push my dynamic range to its limits so if we apply this lot here it already looks good but we see some overexposed areas and usually um, usually I see that many people work with uh, just color wheels or color curves um, and this you just play with them if you check here on a color chart on the waveform when you try to reduce it it doesn't really do anything it just compresses the image so there is no information but there is actually information and if you can pull up this information just go into uh, raw settings and in raw settings when you choose a clip so here you can play with the highlight slider uh, and if you go down you can see that you start and retrieving all this information here and if you go all the way down so basically you recall it lots of information 
And if you go here, you can see that it's already not that much ever ex overexposed like it was before. So this is the best way to retrieve all your highlight information. For some reason, it works absolutely different way if you work with color wheels. So that's pretty much it. This is the way I color grade image from uh, Canon C200 RAW. I hope this information was useful for you. Thank you for your time. Bye.